Welcome back to WeboTap Academy. My name is Mr. Pavan Bhuya, and today we'll be designing the first page of our admin panel. So let's get started. So in the last video, we have created a file using Bootstrap, and now I'll be deleting all the unwanted codes which we have written for test purpose. Now we just have the head section here, and this is the body section. All right. So inside, in this section, we will write our quotes quotes admin panel html quotes will be written here okay. starts and here will be here it will get ended all right so now we'll be writing all the codes here at first i will create a new div call with a class of container flute so if you don't have any idea what is container and what is container flute you can just go to bootstrap and read your documentation alternatively you can also get enrolled in one of our paid courses of full stack web development where we teach our student each and every point right from HTML, CSS, JavaScript to PHP programming with live projects. All right. So this is a container flute. And now I will be creating a raw div class raw. Let me close the row here. And now, OK, and now what I will do here, I will simply write one property of a CSS property called margin top. Uh, let me use padding top top equal to 15 pixel 15 percent okay and now let me write something here this is a test reload okay so here it comes now i'll be using 10 percent as the padding top property instead of 15 so that it comes to here okay this is perfect and now here i'll be writing one more Okay, here now I'll be writing a column. I will be creating a column div class equal to call md four, and let me close this div, create two more div, and something will come here. Something will come here. Okay, so now this section uh is aligned in the middle and i have all i should also include this property a css property called text align equal to center equal to center okay perfect so here i'll be preparing the or producing the login screen but before uh preparing the login screen or before creating the login screen here i also want to give some color in the background so that this project looks something beautiful or attractive css gradient i'll be using css gradient and this is the first website i i just have clicked on css gradient.io and now i'll be clicking on backgrounds so here are several backgrounds we can use any background of our choice Okay, so let me use this background now. Or this is, uh, let me use some light background. Okay, all right. I think this will, yeah, this will look fine. I've, I've click on copy. And in the body, I'll be creating one style property. Sorry, I think this is, okay and let me reload it now okay linear gradient background color zero degree style okay let me delete this style and i will create one internal css file as body now let me check it. Okay. 
Okay, what's the mistake which I have done here? And body, let me use one CSS property, 100%. All right, so instead of 100, I will be putting it as 700 because most of our screens are like 700 or 800 pixels. Okay, this is done. And this is pretty perfect now. Now, here I'll be creating one new row div class equal to row. Now, div class equal to Call MD twelve. Here I will use the logo, like logo will come here. Say logo will come here. Perfect. And now I'll give some background color to this portion login screen. Div class equal to row and here. Okay, and here. I'll be writing background color equal to white. Okay. And now here I'll be writing border radius. I will use some border radius here, like 20 pixel. Let me check. Okay. It is pretty perfect. And now I have to create uh, the image IMG SRC. And I will use this image as of now. Open image in a new tab. I will be copying this URL and I will be using this uh, URL directly in the section. I also have to give it a height of like 70 pixel. And let me close this one and let me check. Okay, we would have academy. Now I have to give some padding here. Call MD12, or I can also give it here padding equal to 10 pixel. Let me check now. Okay, perfect. We put a academy. Now I'll be using D plus 12. Now I'll be using a span property login to year account. Let me check now. Okay, perfect. And here div class call md12 style equal to padding bottom equal to 10 pixel to give some more space between both the lines okay log into your account and here style equal to font family equal to verdana Mm -hmm. It's working now. Verdana and font weight equal to 100. Okay, so let me remove the font family and now it's looking good. Font weight equal to 100 and font size equal to 20 pixel. Okay, perfect. Log into your account. Or I can give it 18 pixel. Not so big, not so small. And it's looking perfect now. Okay. Now we have to use some text input fields. This is the span property. I'll be creating one new class called, called MD6. I can also wrap it, wrap the span property inside this one again i will create one div class call md12 and here i'll be creating a form okay okay uh all right all right i'll be creating one form here 
and now form div class equal to row div class equal to column d12 and div class equal to uh, okay we don't have to give any new div here we just have to write the label label form label your name your username here we can use the input field type equal to text and name equal to username and placeholder equal to username let me reload it now okay it's looking perfect okay now here i have to include a class of bootstrap css class equal to form control looking good now and your name i can uh, i can bring it to the left side so that it looks something good and here style equal to text align equal to left and font size equal to 14 pixel and font weight equal to 200 your username okay and i can also use padding in all the sides like 20 pixel okay it's looking good now please holder and i'll be simply copying all these values and i will use it here okay and uh, instead of giving 20 pixel i can give it as 20 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and 10 pixel let me check sorry 20 pixel on top then right then bottom then left okay it's perfect again control d or command d your username and your password type equal to password name equal to password and placeholder will also be password class will be the form control username and password i can do also one more thing here i don't have to give 20 pixel as padding top okay now i'll be duplicating this property this division and here i'll be writing the button okay for the time being i'll be using a ref to redirect the user if someone clicks on the login button then he will get redirect to the dashboard but we will not be using any button here because we will not be submitting the form through php and mysql all right so here i'll be using a ref and i will write dashboard dot php or dashboard dot not dashboard at first i will authenticate authenticate and authenticate.html and then i will uh, make some animations like add loader or something like that i will use some animations here and show it to the end user okay array authentication.html then class here i will be using a class called btn btn warning and this class can be found in our bootstrap documentation let me show you how can we use these classes you need to go to docs and here on the left side we can find all the components of bootstrap like accordion or buttons the class which i am using right now btn btn warning which means we will be using this button okay so here th this is the class btn btn warning and now i'll be closing this rf and here i will be writing login now 
let's do everything login now perfect so here i have to write text align as center c e n t e r and reload okay it's looking pretty perfect now and on the bottom i have to use two more sections control d and now and now i will be creating one row div class equal to row and here div class equal to calling this six 50 percent of this of the not screen 50 percent of this uh, div size calling the six here i'll be writing uh, no account register now again i'll be creating one more div call md6 forget password question here i'll be writing one css property as style text align equal to left and font size equal to 10 pixel and font weight equal to 100 let me check reloading it okay and uh, i won't be giving padding of 10 pixel here let me reload yeah okay it's looking perfect and here instead of using 10 pixel i'll be using 12 pixel okay no account register now and even here i'll be deleting this and i will duplicate it and text the line equal to right forget password okay let me check now okay looking cool and now here instead of writing it in this way i will give one array here let me close it and if someone clicks on no account register now he or she should get redirect to the register page register dot html okay this one and let me write a few css property to remove the blue color and the underline so the property will be text decoration equal to none okay and color equal to not background color simply color equal to black perfect and i will copy this and i will paste it here i have to write forgot password and here i have to write forgot this password i have to change the link let me reload it's working pretty perfect if i click on login now it's taking me to authenticate.html if i click on register now it's taking me to register.html and if i click on forgot now it's taking me to forgot password.html so it's working pretty perfect in the next class we'll be designing the register and the forgot password page thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel